Let's go, let's go. Baseline drive and throws it down with no air. You're good, thanks. Good job. Good pass down low to well filled. Throw it down. Green fires a three, and that's good. Welcome to the Tim Miles Show. Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Tim Miles Show. We talk some Colorado State Rams hoops. Brian Roth with you, and another successful week for the Colorado State men as they only had one game this week, but it was a winner. A big Mountain West Conference contest, a 68-62 win over New Mexico. We're joined by the coach, Tim Miles, and the resume continues to get built for your ball club. You guys went out, bought the nice cardstock paper, the resume paper. You got the nice font. Yeah, you hit. Is best printing quality when you print it out the resume is looking nice yeah well it's getting better but it's it's not time we're not they're not looking at resumes for a month so uh we're excited about where we're at it was an important week for us we had one game so we got some rest that was important and then uh we came out and uh we got the orange out so that was a lot of fun to go out and compete with new mexico on such a neat night with our legends back our former players uh the orange colors and uh and then a high quality opponent yeah you guys had lost eight straight to them. Does that play into any of the mindset going into the games, knowing that, hey, listen, these guys have had our numbers, but this is a legitimate chance to come in here and beat these guys in a huge conference game? Well, I was only responsible for seven of those. So, That's right. uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, you know, there's still one out there. No, uh, yeah, we, our guys thought they were better than New Mexico. We thought we should have won in the pit. Uh, and uh, to come out and compete, uh, I thought our guys started out really high energy really coming out to make uh, big time plays. I thought that was an important way to start the game. Yeah, that 15 nothing run was that key run in the first half. It had been a high scoring game in the opening five, six minutes. And, and then you guys went on that 15 nothing run and you held them scoreless for uh, a period of over nine minutes. What was the key during that portion of the game? Well, first of all, I thought we did a good job with our positioning in the lane. We got some steals, some tips, some deflections. And those are all really important. You know, and when, so when New Mexico tried to come inside, you saw our defense raid the ball, get in and make plays on the ball. And, and that's, that's important, and that's a team thing. It's a guy guarding the ball, it's a guy getting the help. And uh, whether it be a jump ball, whether it be a steal, or whatever it might be, those things are really important uh, in your team defense. And we, we got 15 consecutive stops. That's, a, that's an amazing number. I mean, you can go down and get four or five, six consecutive stops. I know you're going to be happy with that as a coach, but 15. Rams would take a 14-point lead into intermission. Then you came out, played well in the second half. You go up by 18 with about 16 minutes to go. What's going through your mind on the bench saying, hey, we're, we're playing great basketball? Well, Greg Smith goes on a personal 5-0 run to start the half. He hits a three-pointer on the wing, and then he gets a steal and a run out and a nice little layup. Uh, against contact, and, uh, and we were able to lengthen, and uh, that's important. Uh, and, and I thought that our guys, um, you know, New Mexico started to get on the attack at the end of the first half, and I thought our guys really did a good job early in the second half extending our lead. And we needed to because, as we all know, it got tight toward the end. Yeah. Did, did you figure it's kind of like the NBA? Uh, every team's going to make a run. Did, did you figure you were going to get to a little bit of a run from New Mexico? Maybe not as big of a run as they had, but I, I imagine you figured you were going to get one. I, I guess I was only surprised like one time. When it got to three, I was surprised how it got to three uh, late in the game. And, uh, but we didn't do much on offense. We had consecutive charging calls. We had a couple uh, plays we ran where we missed Andy inside. He broke so, breaks open and, and, uh, and we missed him. But at the same time, we hit. I mean, we had a great play where we uh, we run a little uh, back screen for Andy, and Travis uh, uh, throws a nice no-look pass in there. Andy dunks it, and the crowd goes crazy, and we made some free throws. You know, uh, Dorian made a couple, uh, getting fouled, handling contact out there on top. Jesse uh, I, I made one, and those are all important things uh, as you try and win a ball game down the stretch. Yeah, Colorado State hit five of six free throws in the closing minute and a half. Again, they win 68 to 62. We thought rebounding would be a, a big number in the contest. It was, although New Mexico kind of got you in the second half, especially on the offensive glass. But Drew Gordon, uh, their big post player, had 16 boards against you the first time around. You guys hold him to three rebounds. Well, we also forced him into six turnovers. And a lot of that was team, and some of that was Andy Ogaday, too. Andy, as good as he was on offense, was really good on defense, moving his feet what we call building a brick wall. It's like you're a brick wall 
between him and that basket. And Andy forced him down on the floor a couple times into some travels and jump balls. Those are really important moves. And Dorian Green was really good rebounding too. Dorian ended up with seven rebounds, five assists. Really hasn't found his shooting touch in the Mountain West Conference play, but he's doing a lot of other things that help the team. Yeah, Pierce Hornung again making those little plays, especially at the end with the final steal that they don't always show up in the stat book, but they're always so key. And I, I, you know, I thought it was another good team effort out of you guys. And, yeah. and it has seems to been that way over the last, well, really the entire Mountain West Conference has been a team effort. No question about it. And Pierce's steal was really important for us. And I thought that as we looked up, everybody did a nice job. There were different guys that contributed in different ways again uh, that were really helpful. Greg Smith had one of his best games and, uh, and, and, and when you look at all of those guys stepping up and still the absence of Wes Eichmeyer who were trying to get back into play, um, uh, if we can get West going, and uh, it's little by little, but uh, uh, we have a nice club, and I think a club that can do damage in the Mount West and hopefully in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, Eichmeyer only played six minutes, all of them, in that first half as he still tries to come back from that foot injury. Okay, final thought, that orange out here is another great crowd here. And, you know, one of the main attractions now when you come to Moby Arena at the under four timeout to the second half, uh, the band leader for Colorado yeah. State gets crazy. They get him on the Jumbotron, and... This place goes nuts. He's wonderful. You know, he's only a grad student, so we got to find a way to keep him here. And uh, uh, he do, he does a great job. You know, I've uh, I've seen him in person and, and uh, uh, do his act. You know, at, uh, when we had a bigger lead, I've missed a few of them lately. But at the same time, you can hear it. You hear the Green Day song, "Holiday Coming," and then you know he's doing his deal. And it it's it's really cool and it's really a neat time. And uh, we should have him on the show. That's right. <laughs> We'll have to talk to the producers about that, but he, he's a guy that uh, definitely is part of what is now becoming again Moby Madness here at Fort Collins. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll be joined by sophomore point guard Jesse Carr. That comes up next. Stay with us here on the Tim Miles Show.